I grew up in Waipukuro in Central Hawke's Bay. Growing up, we didn't really watch a lot of netball. We mainly watched rugby just because, well, my dad used to play for the Magpies in Hawke's Bay and I wasn't allowed to play rugby um, because dad didn't want me to end up with the scars that he's got. <laughs> and um, I guess I just yeah, got into netball because it was the only, well, not the only, but the main female sport at my school. And yeah, I just grew to love it. I always wanted to be like my brother. So I'd do everything that he would do. Gets it back to Dominic Byrne! Dominic's been really useful, especially with how fast I guess I've been put into this environment. Yeah, he's just given me good insight into life as a professional athlete and how to deal with the different situations. When I'm um, living in Hawke's Bay, my sister and I used to play for separate clubs, the two top clubs in the competition. And her club was better than mine. <laughs> there were times when we'd be playing each other and my team would be losing by so much that I'd make them put me on at goal keep so that I could um, just wind her up a bit and be a bit more physical just to try to put her off. I ended up playing for Wellington NPC very randomly. I remember being at work one day and Mary rang me up and said, would you like to come and have a trial game for the Wellington NPC team? So I went down to Wellington, played a couple of games, and then she said, why don't you move to Wellington? So I did the next year. I played with Whitney Soonis, played with Claire Kirsten and Karen Berger. Playing against them now, with them being in the pulse, well, I feel like it's been such a long time since I played with them. That, but obviously it's cool to go out and play against people that you know. Mary Ann was the reason that I moved down to Christchurch. She um, asked me to go down and play for the mainland Beco team. I had a couple of games before being pulled up into the tactics. And well, it was a big step up, but I, at that stage, I was like, what have I got to lose? The fact that, uh, well, attacking end has been together for now two, well, this is the second season. Connections continue to grow. Um, obviously a big loss losing your Kana because she was like a rock in our attacking end. Oh, what a pass from Peterson. But you know, we definitely have the ability to all step up. Playing against the Pulse defence, they are very physical and obviously Katrina's very aerial as well. But I feel like if we just like, you know, stand our ground, then we will be fine. I've really enjoyed the move down to Christchurch and being part of the tactics. It's a big family environment and everyone looks after each other. Um, it was a very different pathway to what I had planned, if you asked me three years ago, um, what I was going to do with my future. But um, I really enjoyed it and I can't wait to see where it takes me.